Last month, DCNS, a company better known for building nuclear submarines, deployed the first of four open hydro turbines on behalf of EDF in the strong tidal streams of the Côte d'Armor. The 850-ton turbine was towed into position from Brest on a specially constructed barge before being lowered onto the seabed. If successful, the test will pave its way for the world's largest tidal array, capable of powering up to 4,000 homes. One man who is taking a keen interest in the project is Chris Ambler of Jersey Electricity. We've just signed a major long-term contract uh, with EDF, about a billion euro contract. We've got a very close working relationship that we've had over the last 20 to 30 years. Uh, we're keen to continue that relationship and obviously uh, they're keen to work with us on, on perhaps how we might use this trial in, in our own waters. DCNS clearly sees marine renewable energy as a growth market and, with shipyards in Cherbourg and Brest to keep busy, has set up a new division to exploit it. One of their first moves was to purchase an 11% stake in Open Hydro, which in turn has a 20% stake in Alderney Renewable Energy. ARE were granted a master power generation licence by the states of Alderney in 2008 and have first choice when it comes to choosing sites for their turbines in Alderney waters. I think um, all the background work that Alderney has done in creating the law in creating the regulator, the consenting regime, all the environmental work that we've been doing on Alderney means that all the work is there and the project is ready to go. Um, so I think Alderney is still at the front um, of a very exciting project. Given French plans to develop marine renewable energy in the Bay of saint Malo, plus the fact that Alderney owns its own seabed, Alderney Renewable Energy could end up becoming the island's French connection. David Earle BBC Channel Islands News, Alderney.